Welcome everyone to yet another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. Juan Franch. And it is Friday. We're actually here at our Pembroke Pines location. So I guess uh, we are on location. Uh, we're not at our at our home studio where we normally film this in our Miami store. Uh, we are here in Pembroke Pines, and um, it's a little dark and dingy over here based on what we, we we don't have that natural light coming in to make us look all you know nice today. We're we're we're, we're, being, we're being lit by fluorescent lights, so yeah. it literally looks like we're in our garage or or a Walmart. Yeah, yeah. But we're not. We're here at the Pembroke Pines location, and we're filming on a Friday because last night we watched episode eight, which is Star Wars for all you guys that didn't know, mm -hmm. uh, the Last Jedi, um, and uh, yeah, it was. I disagree with doing this review. Why? Because I feel this movie deserves additional watchings. Additional watch? No, we need first reaction watchings. What do you mean additional watchings? What you, did, you you didn't take it all in the first. We don't see anything no. else multiple times, and we talk about it. No, but this one, I like, don't dude, know. I could have watched Justice League a second time. Oh, it was so fucking shitty, but there no, was no there, discussion there, about there, it. There, there were so many, there were so many things about Justice League that that we missed, like so many Easter eggs, so many things happening. Yeah, it's still a shit movie. It, I wasn't, it, it, dude. It wasn't like that this. Bad. The thing is, with Star Wars, it's not a shitty movie, but it's not a great movie either. So, I mean, no, it's not. It, it's it's not something to like, you know. It's really overhyped. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suck its dick, but yeah. By the way, uh, this is filled with spoilers. We are going to talk about this movie f from top to bottom and not hold anything back. So if you haven't seen the movie, please press pause on your browser or phone or however you watch our show and uh, go watch the movie and then come back and uh, watch us. By the way, if you're not subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel on youtube.com forward slash Corker Comics or search Corker Comics. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and all that fun stuff. So enough of that uh, bullshit. Let's talk about the movie. Uh, what'd you think? I think it was a really good movie. That's it? That's all you're going to say? You know, I'm not really expressive, man. But you're just going to say it's a good movie? Right, it's a good you movie. had so much so, more to say yesterday in the parking lot. Well, about like different things, though. All right, um, but I, the movie in general, so this is what I think. I think it was a really good movie. I think it's definitely better than, than Force Awakens. Um, I believe it's being overhyped. Do you think it's better than Force Awakens? Yes. I'm, st I'm debating that still. I think it's way better than Force Awakens. I think it's uh, it's been overhyped, um, but it's been overly criticized as well. Um it's not as great as people are saying it is, and it's not as bad as other people are saying What's it is. What's the director's name? Rian Johnson. Rian Johnson, who, uh, what did he do before this? I have no idea. Do we know? No. Tay Tay, do we know? Why, you want me to come over there and talk? No, I don't want you to, no, I don't want you to come over here and talk, okay? I just want to, no, never mind, she doesn't know. Nah. Anyways, Pop Princess is in the house today. We're, we had a different crew in the house, because we're over here in Pines. So. No Batsy, no, no <laughs> at Suzy Fett. Um. I, I, whatever he did, no, I know I, I know that Kathy Kennedy and the people over at Lucasfilm and the Mouse and Disney and all that stuff. They love him. They love him. They gave him carte blanche to do a new trilogy, yeah. totally unrelated to the Skywalker canon. Yeah. And and he and that's his next project. I guess they wanted him to do Episode Nine, but instead they gave him they gave him. Listen, we want you to helm the next trilogy post right. Episode Nine. Um, so that, they, that, that's fine because he did a good job. I think he did a really good job. Like the faults in the movies, I, I don't think are really his. I think he made some really great choices actually as a director. Um, I will say this: something that I really did appreciate about this movie is that this is like if you have kids, uh, like I have a ten-year-old son. This movie is perfect for them. It's not overly complicated. No, it's not, not simplistic. There's some really great stuff. You know, the plot holes are pretty well hidden. Um, I think kids are going to love this. I think this is great for a new generation of Star Wars fans. I mean, I think the new trilogy as a whole is great for a new yeah. series. Of st I mean, yeah, they, that's they, fair. I mean, uh, you start with you start with Force Awakens, which which you can make a very good argument that it is a carbon copy of a uh, New Hope, yeah. uh, just modernized uh, like a like a reboot. Um, but it, it uh, um, Force Awakens really introduced us to new characters that we came to enjoy and actually care about, and. Last Jedi really picked up on that and focused on those new characters more so than the old. I mean, yes, we saw a ton of Luke Skywalker as as we planned, but Leia was really a lot of Leia, Leia a lot more than I thought we were gonna see a lot more Leia than than in than in 
Force Awakens, but still she was she was a supporting character. At the end of the day, it was really about Finn, Poe, Rey, and and uh, Kylo Ren. It was really about those characters, the characters that we got introduced to in Force Awakens, and their story continues in Last Jedi. Um, I I what do you think of Luke? I didn't like him. Why? Um, it felt like a strange turn, right? I mean, I guess, you know, since it, it was just weird, like, just trying to, you know, um, harmonize what we last saw of Luke, right, in, uh, in, uh, Return of the Jedi, and this is the first time we, we see him, like, talk and interact again, and it was really, it's such a drastic change that it was hard for me to, like, harmonize that. I understand through his explanation what had happened but it was it was a little like shocking I'll tell you this I thought I, I thought friggin um I I enjoyed Luke I thought Mark Hamill did a it did a better job than I thought he was going to do I mean he of course he's arguably one of the best cartoon voices out there so his voice acting is on par but he really hasn't been on screen well he's not a great actor yeah but but I I thought he did a pretty good job considering he's been he's been away from the Right. From the movie scene for decades, arguably. No, yeah, he did. Yeah. Um, you know, w this whole thing, we, we all knew that Kylo, uh, ben, ben Solo, betrayed Luke and killed killed all his, you know, Padawans and stuff like that, and then went to go join Snoke. Most of the Padawans. Most of the Padawans, yeah. And um, and and we never really knew the story. When... when, the, when when Kylo told the story that, that Luke was hovering over him to assassinate him, and that was, like, Ky Kylo being like, oh, shit, like, I'm being betrayed. Like, I was like, holy crap, Luke's the bad guy. That's what I thought at first. Right. You know? Um, but <coughs> but then, like, Luke told his story, and he was like, he's like, and and then, like, he was there and like, regret and remorse, but he didn't withdraw his lightsaber yet, and so Kylo went to town. I mean... I, I don't know if you picked up on it. I don't know if there was an explanation for it. Do they explain... Does Kylo realize, is that really how Kylo sees it, that Luke tried to kill him, or is that just the story he was telling her, Rey, to fuck with her mind? Um, I, think that's it, how, I think that's how Kylo sees, sees it. it. right. Kylo was sleeping, yeah. and then Kylo wakes up to Luke, his master, going to hovering kill. over yeah. him, lightsaber drawn, looking like he's going to strike which, which him down. Which would explain a lot. Yes. Right, but 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 the thing is, um, I mean, does, wouldn't at any point Ray think it's a good idea to let him know? Like, listen, by the way, he didn't try to murder you. Well, uh, I think it would. I mean, speaking of murder, let's talk about murder for a second. You know, no, I don't want to get. To, let's do character by character. What do you mean character by character? That'll take forever. Uh -huh. uh, but 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 what are they gonna do in episode nine? Like, I, I was like, is this Rogue One again? Like, everybody's dying. They killed Snoke. Like, nasty style. Quick. Mm -hmm. You know? They they killed Phasma. Quick. Allegedly. Phasma's, I mean, yeah, allegedly. Well, we thought dead. she was dead in the first one, and then uh, they had that comic book series explaining how she survived. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, like, I just don't. I don't, I, I don't know. Like I thought that, I, I was so surprised to see Snoke die. Snoke was really, it was really surprising. It's, I mean, Snoke was. I, I thought Snoke was a good. Like so quick. So quick, and I thought, I thought Andy Serkis did a great job. You know, Snoke looked evil as fuck. I, I'm disappointed we didn't learn more about Snoke. Repeat. Like, Shut up. Okay. <laughs> No, seriously though, like, like, <laughs> like, 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 seriously, we we know nothing about the guy. Nothing. Nothing. We don't know his backstory. Like, I was waiting for some big reveal about who Snoke was, because everyone's been like, you know, oh, it's Darth Vader. Like, like Anakin never died. People said that. You know, people were saying he's some other Darth whatever from back in the day. Nobody. He was pretty powerful. Super powerful. Which is which really bothers me, cause like, why then he, where was he? Why didn't he sense the lightsaber turn? Right. Like. And, and where was he in the in the original trilogy? Okay, so he's not there, but you don't think that someone would have heard of him? Or the the way they 
there had to be something that would have made him as powerful as he was, right? And to be able to take over the be supreme leader, the first order, all that, and then th what they ended up doing with him, like I, I thought it was cheap. It was cheap, and I mean, good death, you know. Although when they showed him later on with like his tongue hanging out, yeah, that was like that, corny. I was like, yeah. oh wow, they just made him look like a bitch, you know. Yeah. Um, but but seriously, like like we know nothing about this guy mm -hmm. still. And I, that I don't like. I thought they could have done a better job with, 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 with telling us who the hell Snoke is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because he... And, and if you think about the timeline of Star Wars, so Return of the Jedi ends, you know, there's balance to the Force, relatively speaking, you could say, for a little bit. Excuse me. It's all right, Snoke. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's fine. You could just... Yeah, it's fine. That was Pete, our Yu-Gi-Oh! master. He doesn't know everything about you, you. <laughs> um, <laughs> pines. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> it's like an earthquake, right? Yeah. For a minute. <laughs> the force. <laughs> um, uh, maybe, do you think he'll come back in episode nine? Snoke? Yeah. No, he was cut in half. He's done. I mean, everyone else seems to come back in spiritual ghost form. I mean... No, like, but the people that come back in spiritual ghost form are, are, like, are redeemed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, I guess, well, not redeemed, I guess they're part of the Force, so I'm assuming that if you're a Sith or whatever, like, you end yeah, up in the we, dark side. Like, is he a Sith? Like, what is he? We don't, uh, we don't know, but, I, I, but he taps into the power of the dark side. So, whatever they want to call themselves now. Um, so, no, he's probably gone. He's probably in some, like, dark pit somewhere. Which I didn't, I hate, the whole dark side thing, by the way, when she goes into the island, when Rey goes, they're on, a, she's on an island with Luke, which is supposed to be the sacred island of the Jedi, and she goes to the side of the island with, with a dark side, and she goes into that hall of mirrors, that's the fucking dark side? What the fuck was that? You know what it was, it reminded me of Empire Strikes Back when Luke goes into that tree. You know, and confronts mm -hmm. Vader and cuts his head off, and then the well, mask blows up. But that was way better. And, and it's Luke's face inside of Vader's yeah, mask. Yeah, but this one was just... It, it, it reminded me of the same exact thing. I'm like, this is the same I exact... actually was thinking about Conan. Oh, well, I was thinking about Empire oh. during that scene. Cause... Remember the mirrors in Conan? No, I don't. No, oh, man. Yeah, but it, 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 it totally reminded me of that scene. Uh, I, I I don't... I mean... <sighs> I liked Rey. Speaking of Rey, I thought she was way better this movie. Ray was good. Yeah, she was really good. Really emotional. She's very reminiscent of Luke in the original trilogy. It was great. You know, I, I, I didn't know what to make make of her. I, I'm like, when her and Kylo were interacting, which I loved, by the way. Best scenes. I loved the, the, the interaction between it the, was two, fantastic, the yeah. two of them throughout the movie. It was great. Um, I, 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 was, I was like, is Kylo going to end up being the hero here? And is Rey going to be the villain? I, I was I was so back and forth watching it. I didn't know which way it was going to go. Like, when when Luke told her, like, you went right to the dark side. Like, you went right to the dark. I was like, I was like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? So, I... I uh, she obviously didn't turn out that way. She's obviously one of the good ones. She's she's She continues the Jedi... Uh, legacy, as, yeah. as as Luke said, Luke is not the last Jedi. Spoiler. Um, uh, super powerful with very little training, though. You know. Uh, so like you, but you could just say that she's a natural. Like it bothered me in the first movie. It doesn't bother me in this movie because, um, I think a lot of her power just comes from her how emotional uh, she is. Maybe so, but her swordsmanship. I mean, yes, we saw her practice on that mountain. But for her to take out those uh, those those red samurai guys, it, it, but you know it, it was the like same thing. Did. I mean, didn't Luke like train for five seconds on the spaceship, on the Millennium Falcon, with Yoda, like blind, like same thing. Yeah, but he didn't go head to head with anyone until yeah, but Empire I, Strikes Back. I think it was after the, he was already doing training. No, with, they'll probably Dagobah. explain it as way as a force thing. She was just like. You know, like like a blood sport type, blindfolded, just like sense everything type of shit. Mm. So I, I I'm guessing that because allegedly, like being a, uh, a Jedi or tapping into the Force made you a better pilot, right? Yes. That's you know Luke was such a great pilot, not because he's a good pilot, but because of the Force. So I'm guessing it does the same for your what do you call it swordsmanship? Yeah, I guess I don't I don't know. 
But I liked her a lot more in this one, and and um, her chemistry with Kylo was great. And I think Kylo was way better in this one too. I, I mean, way I, better. I was always a fan of Kylo. Ren. I hated him. I always was a fan of Kylo Ren. Like, uh, I yeah, I think I think he's the most evil motherfucker out in the galaxy ever, next to Palpatine. You know. Uh, because he's just unpredictable, mm -hmm. you know. Whereas Vader was calm. Vader's like, "Yo, chill, you're dead," you know. Mm -hmm. But 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 he kept his calm and his reserve, you know. Even though he was like super ruthless. Versus Kylo, like you didn't know, like, yo, is he gonna like, is he gonna like destroy this place right now, or like, are we cool? Like mm -hmm. you didn't know. And uh, you know, we saw a little bit of his temper tantrum uh, yeah. dur during the elevator dur during the elevator scene when he destroyed the mask, uh, and. Um, but uh, other than that, I mean, he, he was, he, he was, he, he was great. I, I'm disappointed that, that he, that he took the, hold on, Pete, Pete, can you hold off on that? Okay. Thanks. Snoke. Mm-hmm. Um, no, but I'm, 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 I'm disappointed, um, that, uh, th that he went to the dark side, you know what I mean? Like he did post, like, what he killed Snoke, and then like he joined forces with Ray to like get out of there, and then like he had a scene like kind of like in Revenge of the Sith, when Anakin was telling Padme, he's like, we can rule the galaxy together and create a perfect empire, and 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 Padme was like, Anakin, you're breaking my heart, you know, mm -hmm. and that's kind of like what he said to Ray. He's like, he's like Ray, like like we can we can do this together, you know. Yeah. And Ray's like, don't do this. You know, because she knows his intentions. I, I, you know what I liked about Kylo and, and th those those scenes is that, and I hope that they don't change this for the ninth movie, right? He's it. They're presenting him as ir irredeemable, like there is no redemption for him. He is purely dark side. So where even if Darth Vader was redeemed at the end, right? It it seems like they're giving us Kylo Ren as someone. Who is so in tune and so taken over by the force? There is no salvation for him. And that's what Luke said to Leia, also. Right. Uh, before she went to go, before he went to go. And Leia him. agreed. And Leia's like, "My son's gone." Yeah. Yeah. And apparently, Leia would know because she's way more powerful than we thought. Yeah. Like be, extremely more power. Like. Like she's a Jedi. Like why the fuck? How did she end up? She really didn't need Luke to go save her. No. She could just blown up the parent planet herself. Yeah. Like, like, she's like Jedi Master level people. That scene was horrible. Like, listen, listen, listen. Horrible. Listen. All right. Rest in peace, Carrie Fisher. Re yeah. We 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 all expected her to die in this movie on screen. Yeah. Because Disney and the Fisher family have said she will not be in Episode Nine. She will not be CG'd in. None of that. There will be no Princess Leia at all in her physical form whatsoever in this movie be due to her natural life death okay so and they made her such a strong presence in this movie that it's fucking insane for her not to be in the next one here's there the, is no way to explain it look here's the deal dude like okay so i saw her on the ship and then like i saw kylo go in and talk about blowing up the bridge and all did that you shit like that he didn't blow her up i did I'm rooting for Kylo. I want Kylo to be the new Anakin, you know? I want him to be pure evil. You know, I mean, now I don't give a fuck anymore, you know? Now I think I'm with you. I'm like, oh, he's done, you know? Mm -hmm. After he killed Snoke and he's still like, fuck everyone, yeah. I'm just like, no, he's a douchebag. Um, but but prior to, I was like, yes, all right, dude. Be be the hero here. Be there. That's why I said when him and Ray were going back and forth, I'm like, Kylo's going to be the one to save the day. You know, which obviously is, isn't going to be the case here. But when when Carrie Fisher, when 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 Leia was on the bridge, and and they go to blow up the bridge, and they succeed, and they kill Akbar, they kill Leia, and everything. Which, and one my God, clean, that was clean for me sweep, sad. Uh, and, and and you saw her blow out. I was like, first of all, we're only like maybe like thirty minutes in the movie. Yeah. 35, 40 minutes in the movie, and they, I'm like, oh shit, they didn't waste no fucking time. <laughs> they fucking killed her, nasty style. Everybody. Quick. And you wanna know what? In that moment, I was like, bravo, Star Wars, way to bring this bitch out, you know, like, like on yeah. on screen and just like, like. It was a brutal death. A brutal death, and I was just like, I was like, she got sucked into space in an explosion, and that is the end of Princess Leia, and I was just like. I, I wish they stuck with that. Yeah. 
I wish that was the last time we saw Leia and that was her death. If this wasn't a Disney movie, that's how she goes. You know what? They could have done it anyway. They've done they've done crazy deaths in Star Wars movies, man. You know, dude, the way they killed Han Solo, dude, like 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 father yeah, to yeah. son and 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 cold blood point blank face to face, I'm going to stab you. Like, come on. But dude. is it but you know, but that one is I, I understood that more because that's trying to show the, like the difference between Vader and and Luke. Who gives a shit? Either way you're, oh, you're, 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 you're trying to argue Disney here. And all I'm no, saying is true. that like, yo, if Disney fucking killed Han Solo in cold blood face to face, the father of of his son, if his son killed like They'll well, they'll blow Leia out of a bridge of a fucking know, Star was, Cruiser. That was a pretty brutal. It looked brutal. It looked brutal. I was shocked, right? I, I was. I think we were all shocked. We're like, holy shit, this is how she's gonna go. All right, like, like, and and I wish they stuck with it. And you wonder, well, like, why didn't they? Because she really served no purpose for the rest of the movie. She was in a coma for like the next thirty minutes. Yeah, okay? replaced with another old lady. Yeah, and then and then she was it really. Yeah, it's just some other older lady with purple hair becomes a general. It oh, well. you're oh you're talking it's, about. It could have just been Leia. Yeah, Lord 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 mm -hmm. Dern, yeah. who, who uh, of Jurassic Park. Looks great. Venom. Um, um, but and and then when she comes back, she's kind of just like bumping her along and yeah. making a few little decisions here and there, but really not necessary to the story anymore. Right. You know, like she's got a little jokes here and there. Of course, we see her and Luke on stage together, which was nice, you know. Oh, that was an emotional moment for me. Yeah. When he tells her, oh, I like what you did with your hair or whatever. I was yeah. like, you know. No, it... it member. It, 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 member. Shut up. It, it, it was nice, I but but it was unnecessary. I, I think Rian, jo Rian Johnson, that's mm -hmm. his name? Rian Johnson, Kathy Kennedy, they missed an opportunity to, to get rid of Leia in a way that makes it make sense. Instead... Of doing that, we find out <laughs> Leia is probably, like, more powerful I was getting, than Anakin. I, I would have walked out of the theater at that point. Um, when when the ship is coming and they see her floating in space, I thought they were going to do some type of weird tribute death. Like, old lady, like, frozen in space forever with, like, a tear. Some bullshit, right? I'm like, please don't do something tacky. It wasn't tacky. She took this weird Virgin Mary, like, a statue pose and floated at the ship. Well, it's like she was flying yeah. towards it. Yeah. That's, you know, the it direct, was awful. The director's probably like, you know, Carrie, I want you to make a make a gesture like you're flying. Yeah. And so she was just like Yeah. But let's think about this. She first. survives an explosion. Yes. She can breathe in space. She brought herself back from death and she flew. She didn't fly. She used the force to bring her in. Yes, whatever. I right, first of all, let's think about this for a second. All right? Obi-Wan dies by Darth Vader just going, mm -hmm. the Emperor dies by Vader picking him up and throwing him down a pit to his death. Couldn't we say the Emperor is powerful enough to levitate himself yeah. from hitting the ground? Yeah, sure. Like, Snoke dies because a lightsaber turns. Like, Leia Leia's more powerful than all these motherfuckers? The most powerful being ever. I didn't get that. You know, I, I, I don't know how how they... I think I think that's a huge flaw in this story. I hated it. I think it's a huge flaw in this story. It sticks out in my mind. When you ask me my opinion about Star Wars, that scene sticks out. Yeah, and, and it's like, so how... You know, how are they going to explain that? Like, obviously she got training... Luke trained her or something... In a short amount of fucking time, too, because yeah. she had to fucking get with Han Solo, make a baby, and fucking become General Leia on top yeah. of that. And she was such a powerful Jedi. Why didn't she Why didn't she embrace that more? There were so many opportunities, even in the last movie, too, like, like, like where she could have embraced that. And even post her reincarnation, I guess you could call it, or whatever, where she comes back, like, you know, I have the power to reanimate myself in space and fly back to the ship and survive an explosion, but I don't have the power to stop bombs from coming and killing these shuttles around me, you know, versus Kylo Ren can stop a blaster, blast, and he's not as powerful as Leia, apparently. Yeah. So, you know, relative here, he can stop a blaster. So can't Leia stop a fucking blaster from a space cruiser? Yeah. 
At the end, could she have just like lifted the cannon and turned it around so the cannon shoots all the AT-ATs? I, exactly. Like just turn it a little. Exactly. Which, by the way, I love the the AT-ATs in this movie. They're fantastic. They 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 had that gorilla look to them. Yeah, that was know? really cool. Like yeah. like like they all the first order like stuff was really nice. Really nice. Really 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 nice. I mean, so. We'll see what they do with her. They should have killed her in that moment. I, I though. think so. It would have it it, it it would have been a shocking send off, but it would have made the best sense for the story. That's really what it comes down to. Because now they got a they got a hard job ahead of them. They need to tell a story of what happened to Leia. Don't you? Uh, speaking of that scene, like I wish they would have given a little more of a shout out to to Akbar. Like, well, they did. They said we lost Akbar. Yeah, but. But why? Why? Because he was in Return of the Jedi and he's famous for saying it's a trap? Remember? Shut up. I remember. Shut up. God, I'm going to kill you. Stop with the sound. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, what do you think of Finn? I love Finn. Uh, you know why I love Finn? I liked Finn. I liked Rose. I, I hated Rose. I like I, I like that unnecessary. It, they, they had this little they, they, they had this little dynamic duo vibe. I, I really, I, I, I thoroughly, I thoroughly enjoyed it. You know? Let the customers know we're doing Star Wars spoilers. Yes. Pines. Yeah. Pines. Um, what, what do we do? No, we keep going, dude. Someone needs to tell him. It's all right. Whatever. I, I liked I liked Ray. Not Ray. I liked Finn, Finn. and I liked Rose. It, 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 here's when when comparing the movies, and Finn is a reason. The what sticks out to me when comparing the movies, we're talking. I was talking to you in the parking lot last night about. You know, return, like why I still feel Empire Strikes Back is a way. What, what, what you think? Empire Strikes Back <laughs> is a way better movie. Um, like the characters in Empire Strikes Back felt really felt more real. Like if you take away all the Star Wars bullshit, you still have a great story, right? Yeah. You still have real people with you know father and son and like all that, right? If you take away all the Star Wars shit from this movie, there is no movie, right? This is about the story. I don't ever feel like it's about the characters, and they don't seem real to me. Finn does. Finn's the only one that I can really identify with and be like, that's a real person. Uh, he's charismatic. He comes across as real with real problems. I love the fact that he's like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Right? Like, and, and he felt real to me. I, I, I didn't like the Rose relationship, even though the relationship was it's semi-natural, but I just think it's that actor's, like, charisma. Well, the, I, I liked Finn and Rose up until the end when she's like, I love you. you yeah. You know? I was like, bitch. Speaking of that last scene, I felt like Finn deserved that death. I was rooting for him to die there. I thought he was not because. Die. Listen, I don't want him to die. I don't. Want I him love to die. the character. Yes. He was after Kylo Ren. Finn was my second favorite character in this movie. Yes. Okay. I did not. I I, I love the guy, but I felt he deserved that death. I agree. I agree. And I thought it would have been shocking. And and uh, like another death. It's like holy shit, they're killing and like everybody. an important character. Yes, uh, like they're killing everyone here. Like what the fuck. I thought that too, and instead, like, they kind of killed Rose, but they didn't kill Rose. Right. So I don't know. We'll it was see. a push moment that all of a sudden the AT, eight, they stopped firing. Like, they should have probably been dead. The, They're, like, right in front of them. The kiss was unnecessary. Uh, it didn't feel real. Yeah. Uh, it, it, but it, 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 uh, up until that point when she's, like, you know, expressed some sort of, like, emotion feelings towards him, towards, like, love, um, I really liked the dynamic for them. I loved them. I loved the casino planet. Um, yeah, that was cool. And Benicio del Toro's character was hated great. him. Hated I, him. I thought it was great. Fucking terrible. No, he was a douchebag. I didn't like the stutter. Oh, uh, whatever. It's fine. You know uh, why? I just didn't. I didn't. I didn't like that character. I I I I, I like the character. I like the character. Uh, uh, like I said, I love the Casino Planet. I liked Rose. Um, I don't know what that medallion was. I guess it was just something special to them. Yeah, it's like just the yin yang. Each one has a p a piece, I guess. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's all. It is. Um, the reason he needed it is just because it. Yeah, the conductor. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah he said that. Um, like we said, phasma. I didn't like, and they at the end, like Finn sitting there with Rose, and by the way, I don't know if you noticed, the Jedi books were all there. Yes. So all Ray, the I guess Ray. Ray stole swiped it, them. which by the way makes Yoda's a little piece of shit. Why? Because, so Yoda makes an appearance in ghost form on the island. Which was great. Luke is going fucking nuts. He's going to burn down the tree. He's like super anti-Jedi, right? So he wants to burn this fucking thing down. And Yoda's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. He does his whole bullshit. Strikes a tree with lightning. Yeah, that was a nice little impression. Makes him think 
that everything is gone. Yeah. Obviously knows it wasn't. Just used it to trick Luke into doing what he wanted. Yeah. Fucking A. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck Yoda. That's, but it, that's it, a dick move. It was nice to see Yoda, though, wasn't it? It was really nice. It I, was great. Yeah, it was good. I mean, I wish they CG'd Alec Guinness in there, too, and we got some oh, Obi-Wan, yeah. too. Oh, I'm, I'm down. Dude, I was down for Hayden Christensen to show up. <laughs> no, no, I'm... <laughs> That's not. That's too far. No, I. Whatever. No, that's too far. I, I was. I was all about it. I mean, so, so I mean. Uh. So that was the fin. The fin fight also with. By the way, Captain Phasma. Underwhelming. My, let me let me tell you something. Underwhelming. Out of all this new Star Wars shit, my favorite character design is Captain Phasma. I think she's the coolest thing to come out of the whole reboot. Okay. I don't. But go. Uh, I, I I love her design. Like even the way she walks. Every she's like just it's cool. And uh, why the fuck did you bring her back? To have the same bullshit fight she did in the first one? Yeah. With Finn, and, like, kill her again? Yeah. And, like, really, Finn's arc is the same exact thing. He tries to run away, gets caught, little adventure, gets in a little sword fight, done. Yeah. Gets knocked out. Yeah, it goes back to the yeah. to the to the yeah. to the first order. <laughs> like, it is, why, it is why, exactly the why same. do you bring back Captain Phasma? Like, I mean, it, it's it, pointless. It, if, if that's if 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 that's your thing, though, then why 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 is it your second favorite? If his story is a, a, a carbon copy of, because I, I like his, like he felt real, like his acting was great. He didn't feel like some I don't know, like Poe really bothered me this movie. I felt Poe po was po, not a real person. Like he was Poe, so, I didn't like yeah. at all. Like he was very soap opera. Like I I didn't like Poe and you know and and that whole scene with him and Hux talking like yeah I'm holding Hux. Oh that for was Hux. awful. Like that was early in the movie too. Yeah, like I within was like terrified. the first 5 minutes and like and the fact that Hux did like didn't hang up on him or didn't fire on him yet like he like the fact that Hux the general of the first order the, like the leader of the first order the army like let that go on as long as he let it that go was on. Awful. I was like I was like, "Oh my god, is this is this movie going to be filled with all these fucking lame jokes?" <laughs> like like really is is that, is that what's happening right now? Right. right. It, and I was just like, Ugh. "That was really bad. I was really scared." I I, I but thank god it wasn't. But no. but it seemed like Poe was like definitely there to like lay the jokes on heavy. Yeah. I, I I thought the jokes in the movie were bad throughout the movie. I thought I thought they I thought they did a bad job with jokes. Except for the chewy with uh, cooking the pork thing. With the porgs? That was funny. Yeah, yeah, I know. That was great. I mean, speaking of the porgs, listen, I loved every single animal in this movie. Every single animal. I, lo I loved the porgs. I loved the ice wolves, whatever the fuck they were. I loved the, the racing two-legged people on the casino planet. Mm -hmm. Every single animal that they brought to this movie, I was, Except I was sold on. So in the holy Jedi Islands, right? Yes. That fucking weird thing with, like, Luke goes to get milk from it. That oh, was yeah. such a weird scene. Yeah, I didn't like that animal. That No, but not just the animal. The scene in general, wasn't it weird? It was a little off-putting. And then when he's done getting the milk from the animal, makes this weird, like, orgasmic noise. It's like, Bleh. I was like, what the fuck just happened? No. That dude, was weird. Stop. Don't go there. Don't, don't, it, stop. Come on, you're I'm, No, I'm, I'm not saying it's something uh, nasty. I'm just saying it was, like, a weird scene. It, it was nasty, though. Like, like, it was, it, it was shown, that, like, it was Luke showing Ray, like, hey, listen, this is my way of life now. This is what I do. This, and get used to it. It's, yeah, it's I could have, they could have it, skipped it's, that. It's not, yeah, there's a couple things they could have skipped. That's the one of them. The fishing. Like, no, I, li I like the fishing. That was good. Oh, no. We 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 got to know how he survived on this solo island. You know what I mean? With a ton of nuns. <laughs> they were nuns. They were all nuns. I guess you could say that. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. I so mean, I didn't like that animal. That was fucking weird. That animal, I didn't like. And either. and the pork, like, wow, man, Chewie's abusive as fuck too. Man. Listen, that scene, <laughs> that that scene when he was eating the porgs. Yeah. And all the porgs were like. I was like, this is that was that was one of my favorite scenes probably. That was actually that was actually funny. I, yeah. I, I was funny. I mean, if you skip the fact that he still murdered and cooked one of their relatives, <laughs> like it's funny. Chewie didn't serve a lot of purpose in the he, movie. He either. was pointless. Yeah, you know? and I I just felt like him and him and Luke's meeting was underwhelming. No, Luke, Luke. Luke. Luke and Shui, that was I, I was underwhelmed. I thought it was going to be something emotional. They were going to share a moment over Han. Um, 
I was waiting for that they moment. They did though. Like, 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 like. It, it was like where's Han and Chewie? Oh, you I, know what I mean? I, I, it didn't do it for me. I felt it a little. I mean, they didn't. They didn't. No, no. I felt it a little. But I, I, I wanted something more though. I really did. Um, like especially when I compare that to, I thought Luke and Leia's was perfect. Um, and maybe that's because they sensed each other the whole time, anyways. You know. Yeah. But I thought that, I, I thought something more would have been there for Chewie. Yeah. He was just like a pilot. He could have been any pilot. Yeah, exactly. He could have. And, uh, I mean, and I don't know, like, like how did Rey get back on the Falcon, too? You know, like, she was up in Snoke's thing, uh, and then she escapes on a on a ship. No, on, we don't. On Snoke's ship. On, okay. Uh, on his escape pod, they said. Uh-huh. So how did she get on the Falcon all of a sudden and all of a sudden? She, like, there's a lot of... There's, there's, well, Jedi's can breathe in fit space and fly. I thought you knew yeah, that. Yeah, apparently, yes, yes. Um, another great scene in a movie. You know, Laura Dern was an asshole throughout the whole thing until the. Well, we were end. led to believe. Yeah, but then she's like, she's like, she's. We come to find out, Poe's the dick. You know. Let him know we're doing Star Wars spoilers, Taylor. Um. The the, the but the the lights the light speed scene really well done. One of the coolest things I've ever seen in any Star Wars movie. I appreciate that everything went silent. Yes. I appreciated how it looked like you slowly see it like infecting all the other ships. Like it gets caught and then you see it was really well done. But it didn't go silent because that's how, I mean, there's no sound in space, ladies and gentlemen, if right. you did not know that. So like if we were, if there was an actual explosion in space, you would not hear it. It would be quiet. Um, so that's not really what it represented. It didn't represent my ex-wife would make a sound in space. <laughs> the, 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 the physics of, of space. I don't think it was represented. I think it was like, we saw it go and then like it froze and we saw it freeze like, boom, and there it was. And then it blew up after, right? No, but you saw the lines of like the ships breaking apart slowly. Yes. So it wasn't completely frozen. It just... It, it, everything was frozen except for the destruction creeping in. It was really, really cool. I'm going to say that's a JJ contribution who was executive producer on the movie. And there is why I'm going to say that. It's because if you guys rep if you guys uh, um, check out the first Star Trek reboot that he did when the SS Kelvin is being attacked by the Romulans and they, they attack the ship... And you see people getting sucked out of the ship into space. When that happens, dead silence. Like, you, like they're out in space. Like, it's like, ah, mm -hmm. it's like quiet. And you see all the, like, all the lasers and everything, but right. there's no sound. Speaking of JJ, um, the planet that we see at the end, Crate. Right? Which one? It was called Crate, right? Where the Rebel base was yeah. on? Yeah. Um, that was JJ, too. It had to be, right? Didn't it remind you of... That wasn't that the like kind of reminded you of the planet in Star Trek where they begin on, the salt planet. Yeah, it kind of did a little. Yeah, yeah and with yeah. all the red, you like. You talk about Star Trek three. Yeah, the third one. I don't. I don't know. But he didn't do the third one. Remember, like they're running through a planet, they're escaping. Was that that, that wasn't was the, the third first? one? That was the third one. Okay. There's the third. No, it was the second one. Yeah, I don't remember. That was the second one, the Wrath of Khan one. Okay. Yeah. And they're like running through an escape, and there's all that red. It like yes. really reminded me, that, like it just. Could have been him. I mean, listen, I thought... It was a, it was great. Like, for a second, when they were on that planet, I'm like, are they back on Hoth? You know? Because oh, okay. I saw the ice and all that yeah. stuff like that, and I saw the, the door come down. But then but then they came around, I was like, I was like, oh, it's... it's... I loved it. It looked fantastic. Yes. No. That's where you talked about the AT-ATs, right? Yes. Um, the, the, the weird little vehicles that they had, the, the red... So it, it looked visually amazing. Probably... Some of the coolest stuff we've ever seen in Star Wars, in my opinion. Yes, it was. Uh, and in that planet specifically, um, and then when in that planet they're they're trying to break down the door to get to the rebels, and uh, when Luke shows up, that was fucking fabulous. When Luke showed up, I had a lot of questions because mm -hmm. I was seeing a lot of flaws. I was like, I was like, there's no way the director made this many mistakes. And yeah. the first flaw I saw was apparently he got a haircut. Apparently yeah. he trimmed his beard. Apparently he got into this place from some other way versus like the front door, which they said that's the only way in. And then when he went to go outside and fight Kylo Ren, he had his father's lightsaber again, the blue one. Yeah. Which 
we saw Ray have in Snoke's thing that got destroyed in half. Yeah. So I was like, something's up here. Yeah. Right. You know. Right. Based on those things, I, I, like I, I said, either something's up or they made some serious mistakes here. Right. You know, and it comes to find out something is something up. is up. Yeah. But it was really cool when when Kylo stops everything. I just loved Kylo in this movie. He stops everything. He says he wants everything to fire on him. I'm like. How the, what the fuck? And I was thinking, man, they're turning Star Wars into like Dragon Ball Z characters and shit. First we had <laughs> Super Virgin Mary, Princess Leia, and now we have this guy taking fucking eighty million shots yeah. and surviving. Yeah, it was like it was like a Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, scene I was like, what when, when Iron Man yeah. like takes out the huge thing. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's what. Yeah, <laughs> and 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 no, it ended up being awesome. Yeah, it was great. Uh, the little fight scene, anticlimactic, but still was really cool. What, I was, between not Kylo anti, and yeah, Luke? It was, no, not well, anticlimactic. It was just, it, I, I, I no, wanted more. There was no physical interaction, though, because yeah. if there was... He that, realized it was that, what it was. That, you know, that would have uh, outed Luke's little, like... Uh, plan, which yeah. was great. It was a great plan. It was a great plan. Great. I mean, but here's what I would get. So, they all escape on the Falcon. The, the First Order fleet is, you know kind of fucked up in space right now but there's still some ships there it's not just snoke's ship you know mm -hmm. like th they just escaped and they're gone everything's good i mean there's a lot of holes in the movie though yeah i guess you know um if we really look down to it there's there's quite a few holes and there's and they... like again too the, weren't there like eight tie fighters chasing after the millennium falcon yeah a lot of them crashed I know, but i you know i, I don't... And, no but it's, it's one of those things like listen i'm sure that if we counted the amount of those uh, ships that escaped with all the people. Like, every time you'd see, like, three or four getting blown up, and then it would go back to the general, then it go back to, like, three or four getting blown up, and it seems like it's always the same amount. Yeah. Like, I was like, huh. And then on the planet, at the at the end, you have, like, five people left, but, like, what happened to all those other people? <laughs> like, there were, there were holes. See, here's what I wanted to happen that did right, And the pod with just Leia, you remember they're on the window, like, what the fuck? There's, there, there's like, a good, like, there's, like, 50, 60 of them. Yeah. They're not going to film the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. In the end of the Millennium Falcon, you had like 10 people. I know. It, it was weird, yeah. <laughs> what didn't happen that I wish did happen was, okay, so they're on this planet now, and they're, they're, they sent out their distress signal to their, to their allies on the outer realm, right? Right. And Leia's like, use my code. You know, whatever the hell that means. Right. You know, like, like, so people know it's me, right? Right. I wanted Lando Calrissian to fucking show up. So bad, dude. Oh, I think I would have cried. So bad. I wanted yeah. Lando Calrissian to show up. Yeah. He probably would have been down, too. He probably would have been. And, like, Billy D. Williams would have mm -hmm. definitely been, like... Because, you know, like, Childish Gambino, uh, Donald Glover is going to be young Lando. Yes. Like, they just... He was... He met up with... with uh, he was having dinner with... What's his name? Billy D. Williams. Yeah, yeah. Billy D. Williams. And, yeah. uh... So I'm sure he would have been down a missed opportunity. Star Wars, you're bringing back everybody, but no love. Uh, I, I like when they said oh no one replied. I was like they could have tapped into anybody from the original trilogy, you know, to bring back and and Lando would have been perfect. Yeah. Like we haven't even we don't even know where the fuck Lando is. Yeah. You know what I mean? They haven't even brought him up or addressed him at all in these last two movies. Mm -hmm. And and he was a huge part of the original trilogy. Yeah. You know, and he he was in the last scene of Return of the Jedi. Yeah. When they're all like singing and kumbaya and shit like that. Yeah. Lando is right there clapping his hands. You know? Yeah. And it would have been perfect for and, him. And also like, don't you kinda like as a Star Wars fan, um the death of Han was like a huge thing huge. for us. Yeah. Um so I don't care how many times they go back to it in this movie. I almost want to see everyone's reaction to close the book. Kinda wanna see uh I almost want, like, a last joke from, like, Lando. Well, I, I don't know if they That would have been nice to see. Like, I'm just saying, like, you know, on my wish list of things, if they would have brought him back, I do wish at least he would have responded to Leia. Um, and then maybe hear a good bio, like, a good old Han thing. Yeah. All you right, know? well, listen, we... We, we, we got to talk about Luke's exit. Sure. I hate it. I hate it. Like, so apparently, like, he exhausted all of his life force in projecting himself into, like, an astral area. 
that it killed him and he disappeared? Yoda style, Return of the Jedi? It was time for him to go. He just became one with the Force. But, no. It's all about the balance, right? So I'm guessing that Snoke's death kind of just sealed the deal for him. No, no it, it, I, I can't. I, I can't. I, 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 when that happened, I was like, I'm like, what the fuck are they going to do in this third movie coming up? You know? It, it's basically, it looks like they just wanted to clear the path. They just, they got rid of everybody. I mean, all right, so, late. Roll call. Phasma? Snoke? Yeah. Luke? Mm-hmm. Um, Leia real life? Leia real life, which means Leia episode nine. Especially if they're not going to do any of that other stuff that they said they're not. So, like, and if you think about this, okay, so they're coming in episode nine. Who's left from the original trilogy? You got Chewie? That's it. You got the droids. Yeah, Chewie and the droids. That's it. And Lando, if they could find him. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. They killed Akbar. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Nia Numb's still in it. Which, by the way, was he, was he a lot larger in this movie? He looked like he gained some weight, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, I, well, it made me question if that was him. Like, 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 like the thing is, is like, he, he's, he's, a uh, he, he's in, he's, he's filming, um, he's, a, he's in the Millennium Falcon next to Lando in Return of the Jedi, and, like, he's smaller than Lando, right? If mm. I remember correctly. Yeah. But, uh, but, but in this movie, like, he's bigger than all the pilots next to him. And apparently he's a piece of shit soldier. I mean, 30 years without a promotion, like, holy fuck. Why? Shut up. Today? This month, I think. No! Someone just said that Billy D. Williams died today. Talk to them while I look this up. Um... I don't have anything left to say, man. I've said everything I had to. No, he's alive still. At it's, least according to Google, he's alive still. I I, I don't know, man. I, I disagree with Steve. I think... What do we mean disagree with I him? think Luke's death was fine. Um, but I, what, what are they... Like, again, like, what... All right, so, all right, all right, all right. So, before we, before we talk about what they're going to do, uh, favorite part about the movie... Favorite scene, favorite part, whatever. I mean, you do yours. I don't know. Add a few. Like I thought there was some really cool stuff. Mine was when Kylo and Rey joined when forces. When they joined forces, yeah. When they joined forces in Snoke's chamber and took out the, the red the red samurai ninjas. Yeah, that was great. I was like... Uh, I like the kamikaze ship part. The what? Where uh, Laura Dern puts the... Oh yeah, that the, the, was the, that was fantastic. The, the, the light speed and thing. the whole battle, the whole the whole thing on crate, that was like all well done. Yeah, but if you're going to pick one, it the Kylo and Rey coming together. Yeah, I agree. That's that's that that, that was that like was, wow. Yeah, yeah. And I I never I didn't think it was going to have that much impact, being how much I disliked Kylo in the first one and didn't really care for Rey either. But they really fixed that in this movie to the point where it went. Those scenes were instrumental to that, though. Yeah. In my opinion, to fixing it, the scenes where it's just them, like talking, that was in, that changed everything I felt about them too. And when they came together, like you, you almost felt like a perfect union, right? Yeah. And so I agree with you. I thought that was that was great. Worst part. Lay in space. Lay in space. Lay in space was just that was just. <laughs> Oh my god. Um no. Oh. See, I, there are three things I hate and I know I said worse, but I got to name all three. I hate I hate I hate what they did with Luke at the end. I hate that they didn't kill Leia, you know? Um and I hate that we know nothing about Snoke. Yeah. I hate that. They made him a throwaway character. Yeah. Um but, Which is funny because in Thor you love how quick they do in the Warriors Three. Well, I don't care about the Warriors Three. Okay. They they're always supporting things, anyways. Snoke Snoke is like what was the Emperor equivalent? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Okay. That's okay. Fine. So so I, all right. So at, at the at the very 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 end end of the movie, we go back to that casino planet, and we see the little boy who clearly 
you know, is gifted in the forest because he makes the broom move by himself, you know. And then he's got a little moment with this little rebel ring and stuff like that. So yeah. obviously the force is alive and well within people. May not not necessarily may not necessarily be you know Jedi related, but but um, and because the force Jedi is just a religion, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, which 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 they made Luke made very clear. Yeah, you know that like the Jedi are fucking bullshit. You know right. the force is so much more than the Jedi. That's the, that's the ego of the Jedi. That's that's why they had their downfall. Right, right, right. You know? Yeah. Like, He's like, very, like, anti-Jedi. Which, like, you know, he brought up some good points. You know? He said he said they were so full of himself that they allowed Palpatine to fucking come up and take over and create the Empire right under their noses at their peak. How did the New Order... How did the, the First Order come out? Because, like, at the, at the end of Return of the Jedi, the, the, the Empire is gone. The, the, Empire, the Empire... So the Rebels won. How are they still Rebels? Did the rebels take no, over? They weren't rebels. They were called. They, they well. First of all, they were, they were the. It was the, not, not the resistance, but the, republic. The republic came back at, yeah. on Coruscant, the the planet with right. All, well, yeah, because uh, the empire fell. The republic is back, and then I we don't know how the first order came about. I'm I'm assuming it's remnants of the empire. You know, but it's that, like yo, like the republic, together. the republic takes over, and like ten years later, they're like a little band of rebels again. No, they were called the resistance yeah, in the last movie. But then this movie, they're called the rebels because the republic was destroyed in the last movie when the Death Star planet killed, right. blew up Coruscant and destroyed. Yeah, the but republic. it's just weird that they're again the underground like. But they're, but they're not another another thing that I loved about Benicio del Toro's character mm -hmm. was that he was just like, he's like, doesn't matter what fucking side you're on. Yeah, it's all bullshit. You yeah. know, one one of them wins one day, and then the other one wins the next day, and it just, mm -hmm. it just goes back and forth. And at the end of the, and and when when he was on that stolen ship, and he's like, let's see who ship we're on. He's like, oh look, he sold this. Oh look, he sold to your guys too. You know, like 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 our guy is our guy is you know. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is. This well, I I just I don't I I mean I guess the prequels might address it. I didn't I didn't like that. The other thing I didn't like was the, uh, the Knights of Ren. Other than a, little flashback are just non-existent on like what happened where are they i don't know i mean there's a lot of maybe maybe marvel comics but i'm really will, curious about the knights of Ren. maybe marvel comics will help you know let us know what the fuck is going on i don't know well i hope so i know you are you are on this google said no i just said it right now i mean i'll look it up again you know Pete uh, claims uh, Billy D. Williams is dead He's since really August. He's really trying to kill him. <laughs> yeah. No, it says August 29th. Huh. That's what it says. I don't I, I, <laughs> um, So, um, all right, where's this going? Where's this going? Well, we got, do we have anything else to say about episode eight? Well, our fi final thoughts on episode eight is that um, you should go see it. Absolutely. It's a good addition to the Star Wars universe. Not the best. Not the best, not the worst. People are saying it's the best. No, it's definitely not the best. I don't think it's the best either. Uh, not not the worst by far. It's, it's actually really good. I, I, if you you know, if you do the the stupid ass rating scale one to ten type of shit, it's a good like seven, eight. I mean, is it know? is it in the top five Star Wars movies ever? Yeah, I think so. I agree. Yeah, I think so. I agree. Um I mean in the end, like I do complain that there's a top lot of three? Uh I, I haven't thought about it, but it could sneak up there. It could be number three. I still think uh, Rogue One and uh, Empire are better. Um, see, I think Empire and Return of the Jedi are better. Okay, I mean that's fair. I could I could see it too. It, it's kind of interchangeable at that point because they're they're really good movies, right? Yeah. And they all have their faults. This one does have its faults. It's, it's not as good as good enough to be the best Star Wars. It is a great movie. If you have kids, especially great way to get them into star wars like this is all fresh for them no 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 great way to get them into star wars is force awakens force awakens, force right, awakens yeah. is a great movie no, you, no, know, no. you know you know fanboys and you i know you hate on it because you think it's a rip off of a new hope but for bringing new people into no, no, the star no, wars canon, yeah, yeah. force but, awakens is 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 amazing right but this movie is what i mean is great for kids and for you like you I, don't like, need to know anything else about star wars right. and you could jump into force awakens Right. Okay. Sure. So, Force. So, if you want to see our review on Force Awakens, we'll probably do one one day. But this is not about Force Awakens. So, it's a great movie to take your kids. Like I'm after they've seen Force Awakens, they don't even have to skip it. Now nah, they need it. Uh, I'm gonna take my kids. My kids, I took them to see Force Awakens. I'm gonna take them to see this. Um, again, it's a solid movie. Top five Star Wars. 
not the best Star Wars, not the worst Star Wars. There's gaping holes. It's not a perfect movie. Uh, it's worth it. There's things that we could change. There's fanboy moments we wish we could add. There's shit we wish we could take away. Um, but it's really, really good. I think it's it it does right by by Star Wars, and it actually changed the characters enough and made me like a lot of the things that I didn't like in Force Awakens. That I'm super excited yeah. to see the conclusion to the story in Episode Nine. Um, Force Awakens left me not caring about the Last Jedi. The Last Jedi has me super stoked and actually caring to see what happens to uh, to Kylo and Rey. Really, I, I see. I enjoyed Force Awakens enough to where I actually gave a shit about Kylo, Rey, and Finn. Mm -hmm. Not Poe. I don't care about Poe, but whatever. Um, so, I mean, where are they going? If you had to make predictions here, um, I hate that. I think the ending of this movie should have been, could have easily been the ending of the next one. Kind of, I mean. Because you're leaving a lot to do now in this third one. Rebuilding the rebellion from scratch? Rebuilding the rebellion from scratch. Okay. Um. Like, yeah, Kylo Ren is supreme leader, but like, it, it seems like to, at the end of the movie that it, he's not organized. This is not going to be an organized first order so i don't even know how the fur the, the, they're going to look this movie almost took things that should have closed out the series I, they jumped the gun in some things like like snoke dying i think is going to be felt more in the third one than in this one right because he's what holds it all together kylo doesn't have that I, i'm worried about where they're going to go with the First Order. And I don't like how decimated the Rebels were at the end of this movie. Like, there's decimated to the point where it's a little band again, right? They have to rebuild all this stuff. And 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 the whole time they're talking about the importance of the Rebellion, well, Leia sent out this distress signal and no one answered. Like, how important is she really? Yeah, they all received it, but they didn't care. Yeah, so they put that in the movie that they all received it, but they didn't care, yet they're going to care enough for now her to respark the Rebellion, but they didn't care, like, ten minutes before they said that. I so know. how th it's a lot to do in the third movie. It's a lot to do, and they also need to justify the death of Leia. And yeah. It, it needs to make sense to the audience. Nothing that can do is going to make sense. Which is why they should have fucking right. killed her because when they, when they blew her out. With of that this movie, they, they put themselves in the corner. Like, no, here's what happened: they finished filming the movie, and the way we saw saw Last Jedi is the way they intended it to be, and we all know that Episode Nine was supposed to be Leia's movie. You know, she was going to be the focus. They all said it, blah, blah, blah. And it was going to go out with a bang and blah, blah, blah. But that didn't happen because of her real life death. You know, so they filmed it the way they filmed. The producers and the writers and the directors should have been like, all right, we blew her out of the bridge with intent to bring her back. But this is where we need to stop it for the sake of the story. You know, and if that means they gotta do a couple of reshoots, and instead of killing Luke at the end, they 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 they, uh, they don't, mm -hmm. you know, and they let him be in the next one to continue that because, again, like I said, also now there's no ch there, there, there's no one but Chewie and the droids, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I it's a big problem with Leia because you don't end the movie saying that she's like the last like you said they they still left it film like she was gonna be the focal point of. Of the next Star Wars, right? Yeah, like we saw her talking to Rey, so and, and obviously, here's, here's, obviously she was going to be the new master yeah, for Rey. Yeah, they have to use her you know? code, like, she's so important to the Rebellion, they made it clear, and the Rebellion, again, after the end of this movie, there's very little, it, they made it, like, there's enough to fit on a, a Millennium Falcon, yeah. right? Um, so who's going to rebuild the Rebellion? What are the, like, Leia's off, I, I, what, we'll see. We'll see. I think we're going to have a massive time jump from episode 8 to episode 9. Ooh. That's what I think is going to happen. I don't think it's going to be quick at all. I think it's going to be a massive time, time jump. I think we're going to go into episode 9, and it's kind of going to be like, you know, we kind of had a time jump in between Empire and Return of the Jedi. You know, because yeah. Luke left Dagobah just as he was beginning his training, kind of, with Yoda. Yeah. And then he comes to Jabba's palace and returns to Jedi, full-fledged Jedi Master. Yeah. Um, so I think we're to come into Episode Nine. Rey's going to be a Jedi Master. 
The rebellion is going to be up on its feet. Leia's probably going to be dead already, and they will address it, you know, but they're not going to show it, obviously, because they said they're not going to do any of that. Maybe if there is that massive tide jump, maybe they start out like at, like, the funeral of Leia. Yeah. It opens with them at the funeral, and the Republic rebuilt, and everyone paying their respects, a good way to send off the character... Since you can't, maybe that's how it's going to open that's in the That's a funeral. great idea. J.J. Abrams, take note if you're watching our show. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> yeah. But, you know, they start out like in a that's funeral, a like, you know, and yeah. just uh, give her a proper send-off and continue with the movie. Yeah. And and Ray is... Ray and Ray is the... Um, well, Poe is po going to be the new leader, right? I don't, I don't know. After, after, it, was, after, it, was, it was what he was being primed for, right? I don't and know. And she, like, looks at him knowingly after he makes the correct decision, which is... To retreat. Yeah. Like, because the whole movie, the point was, no matter what the odds, Don't he be was a probably going to die, he yeah. was going to fucking attack. And then, in that last scene, when uh, Luke does what he does, he's the one that realizes, listen, this is a distraction to give us the time to fight another day. Um, becomes yeah. leader of the rebellion. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, massive time jump. I think that's a great idea, opening up with a Leia funeral. Uh, Rey as a Jedi Master. Uh, the rebellion... Uh, is is on its feet again, yeah. uh, probably primed by Death of Leia, maybe even. Right. Um, and uh, First Order is balls deep, organized back together again, you know. And and the whole movie is going to be about Ray Ray going against Kylo. Yeah, and that's and, fine. And, and killing Kylo, and that's Kylo. I, I agree with you. Kylo doesn't get redeemed. Do, no. Kylo doesn't Should get not redeemed. Be. And and. Uh, and and maybe the death of Kylo, I, I don't think destroys the dark side. The dark side will always be there, just as the Force will always be there. And um, I don't know, maybe they'll end Episode Nine with Ray, you know, training some Padawans. That little kid. Maybe Luke will return in astral form too. Maybe. Possibly. Um. Either way, go see the movie. Yeah, we're definitely worth seeing. Like, comment, share this if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to our channel, uh, Corker Comics, on YouTube.com, YouTube.com forward slash Corker Comics, or just search Corker Comics. Uh, we're here, like I said, we're here at our Pember Pines location today, so you can come visit us here in Pember Pines on Pines Boulevard, just east of University Drive, across from Perry Airport, or at our Miami location on 107th and 8th Street, across from FIU. For Atomic Pop, I'm Stephen Corker. One for May the Force be with you.